This video is sponsored by LD Player. Another day, another gacha. I don't know about you guys, but it kind of feels like it's been a while since I've actually reviewed one. And so today, my guys, we have Time Defenders. I know you can't see the title, but like, trust me, oh, there's a title. This bad boy just released about 24 hours ago. And so let's just get into it. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lace. And today we're going to be doing a Time Defenders review. I've honestly had limited visibility on this game. I'm pretty sure this is the tower defense one, but in 3D. And so you guys already know the drill. In this video, we will be looking at all of the different art, the different music, the mood, the environment, the systems, looking at the gacha, looking at the combat, and all in all, just having a look at, well, do you guys want to play or if you don't want to play based on this kind of review. And so my dudes, when we get to the end of the video or you kind of get bored, let me know if you would play this or not in the comments below. However, otherwise, let's just jump into it. Upon like first impression, the graphics, the live 2D is actually quite decent. I think it's developed by Vespa, Vespa, and let's have a look at the language selection. This will probably change the interface, so I probably don't want to do that one. Let's go have a look at some settings later if I can get like 60 FPS, although it kind of looks like 60 already. Ah, oh, it is. So it's been about like two minutes and I'm still not sure what's going on. <laughs> Gonna be honest, this isn't exactly the greatest first impression. Uh, can I click anything? Maybe I need to restart. All right, and so I do have a three gigabyte download going on, but as it's going on in the background, it looks like we actually get some cutscenes. And to be honest, this is looking quite high quality. Let me turn up the sounds, but like, this is actually kind of cool. Like, look at this. It's not bad at all. Like, just from a first impressions production value point of view, it's actually looking pretty sick. So, uh, my download has been stuck at 99% for god knows how long <laughs> i do have to say that i was using this time like as it was downloading to go look at reviews and stuff it's not looking too hot in terms of connectivity and networking i'm hoping that maybe they resolved it because they've had a maintenance but yeah my guys to be honest like right now not overly impressed we where we're still here. And after a few more minutes, we are ready to go start. I gotta say, boys and girls, like the art, I, it's right up my alley. All right, gang, we are finally in the game. There are like, the 3D modeling is quite good. It's not perfect. It's a bloody phone game for God's sake. It's, I wouldn't say it's on Genshin level, but it's actually quite nice. However, my guys, it is at this point in which I turn into a skip gamer. All right, let's go. <laughs> so it looks like this is the battle system. So we have enemies approaching from this direction, I suspect. Ah, this is the tower defense one. Okay, so we're probably going to lay down one of our units and wow, so it does some lightning shock stuff. Can I activate any skills or anything? So we've got this freaking little drone with a machine gun. It's actually quite crazy. But I gotta admit that first uh, tutorial kind of thing, it's kind of boring. Let me try skip and find another stage to play. Oh my, and so this is the status screen of Jin. There's, there's quite a lot going on here. But to be honest, it would probably just take me like a minute or two to actually read through it and kind of take it in. All right, my guys, so it looks like we have another battle. Formation is important. So I think we can actually... Oh, there are two places to place units. The police officer seems to be melee. Let's drop them over here. And then we are probably going to get another unit in which we can place up there. Maybe a ranger or something. Pay attention to the number of blocks, which are the number of enemies that can be blocked. Hey, wait a second. <laughs> this is kind of starting to feel like Arknightsy. I mean, it's a freaking tower defense game. What, what kind of innovations can you possibly do? So over here, it looks like we're getting additional cost and then the units cost, this one cost 24. I'm going to put him up here. He's going to do some lightning bolts down. Wow, this is... This is essentially Arknights, but 3D <laughs> and in a kind of a different setting uh, in container crates. Arknights in container crates. Whilst I'm on this loading screen, I do want to say that I have probably spent more time on loading screens than like actually playing the game. Typically speaking, I don't normally comment on the performance of games because they've they've generally been OK. But there's something about this one in which it kind of feels like laggy almost. Right. All right. Here is another stage. We're going to use a skill. I'm going to drop this guy over here and skill on and then click this one over here oh wow okay the animations are kind of cool it does look a little bit low res but like i mean what can you expect for god's sake <laughs> this stage is actually kind of like giving me weird feelings because like the the perspective is completely different in every single map uh in arc nights it's very much consistent like you're always going to have like uh, like the same kind of view but in this game so far i think i've had like three different views it's like i'm oh, going from like over here to over here. And then we had like a really zoomed out view. I'm not quite liking that, that kind of inconsistency, if you know what I mean. Okay, and so it looks like we've landed on the interface, the home screen. And 
honestly, nothing, no critique here. It actually looks pretty clean. For now, I'll just go ahead with the tutorial and see where it's going to lead me. So we're in a map selection kind of screen. Uh... Hey, wait a second. Where have I seen this before? <laughs> like all of this, it's it's okay. It's quite decent. There's no critique that I could actually possibly give here. And so right now, my impression of the interface is it's cohesive. It actually all looks like, you know, it's kind of futuristic-y, almost sci-fi, but it does all work together. So uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's a good one in my books. Okay, this is what I mean. See, immediately we have some really weird perspective. It's completely different to what we had before. Yeah, I gotta say, I am not a fan of like all these different perspectives. It's it's almost confusing actually when, where, why can't I place this guy down? And so it looks like we are going to have flying drones. I suspect we need range class. Yeah, okay. Yeah, boy. So at this point in the game, in terms of combat system, it, it's virtually identical to Arknights. To me, it's not really a good or a bad thing. I just kind of feel like for a lot of people, especially if they were looking for something like this, like a tower defense game, at this point right now, I probably would still actually recommend Arknights over this. No offense, no offense, Time Defenders. It's just that Arknights is like such a household name in terms of this kind of gameplay. And wait a second, what the frick is going on? Wait, am I losing? <laughs> okay. My guys, maybe it's not the game, maybe it's the player. Hate the play and not the game, am I right? Uh, wait, is that is that valid in this context? I actually can't believe I just lost that. That was that was really freaking weird. <laughs> All right, so this time I think I've got it without losing a piece of HP. Yeah, I think that I think that was a user error for that one. I gotta say though, from like a production value point of view, it's quite good. I'm pretty sure it's fully voice acted. <laughs> Yup, honestly, at this point, like where I'm not hounded by tutorials, it's it's kind of okay. I'm just placing down my characters, what's kind of logical, place the defenders in the front, place the archers in the back, place some healers sometime, somewhere. And to be honest, all in all, it kind of looks like we got a, a police academy kind of theme. Actually, not even academy, he's a straight up police officer. I gotta say, I am kind of liking this, but that might be just because I also like Arknights, right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, looks like it's time to summon our SSR. Let's see what we get. Is this going to be a sad outcome? Oh, it's a purple. Oh, oh, it's an orange. It's a rainbow. It's freaking psychedelic mushrooms. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Oh, let's have a look at what we get. Open all. I don't have the patience. Uh, open all. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, that's a... Uh, that's a lot of animations. That's a that's a lot of production value, to be honest. Akira, the inventor, a supporter type SSR. Oh, oh, hello there. Summon again. This is actually a selective. Okay, skip, skip, skip. And let's go open all. Okay, so it looks like we didn't get a purple this time. I thought we pulled a freaking truck, but it turns out it's like an RC guy. All right, let's go a few more times to have a look at the potential SSRs. And so for this one, it looks like we are... Oh, what? Are we the ghost or are we the angel? I can't tell. <laughs> It'd be so funny if we were the ghost, actually, now that I think about it. But I do suspect we are the angel. We are the healer, Eigel. Eigel? Not sure. And so we have a katana lady, maybe a shrine priestess with swords. Actually, I don't know if shrine priestesses are allowed swords. Was that a bit of fan service? Like, I don't know about you guys, but this character, she kind of looks like she could be my daughter's daughter. I did not even consider the possibility of fan service in this game. Just cause it, like, it didn't feel like there would be, right? Maybe if this is a chick, we'll see. Okay, well, I don't think we're gonna get any fan service from a nun. <laughs> oh my Lord, what the frick? Okay, so it looks like I finally have free reign. Let's have a look at what they're giving us that looks like potentially a 10 pull, maybe 300 gems for one pull. Oh, is that an SSR ticket? That, my guys, is gonna be a tick in my book. So let's have a look at the chances. All right, gang, SSR time. We need that mommy. I don't know about you guys, but it kind of feels like he's a bit too low. Like, I 
I feel like he should be up higher over here. Nevertheless, let me just confirm and let's move on. So my guys, before we move on, let's take a short break to talk about our sponsor today, LD Player. LD Player is a lightweight modern emulator that serves all of your mobile gaming needs. It's got competitive features like multi-instancing, sync operations, like they're all down over here. However, the most recent feature that I am super in love with is this guy over here, which is the LD Store. I know, it's so weird, right? However, it is thanks to this feature that I've been able to try a lot more betas than I normally would have, and that is very important to me. And so my guys, if you did want to try out Time Defender or LD Player, head on down to the description below or the pinned comment and click on the link. Thanks again to LD Player for the sponsor and let's get back to the video. So like I said, we finally have free reign. Let's have a look at the different rates first. And so it looks like we have a 3% chance for SSR, which is it's actually quite high. But in terms of the rate up character, it's a 0.4% chance, which is exceptionally low, actually. Okay, all right. Um, the only thing that I'm a little bit wary of is in games like these, where the SSR rate is quite high, I suspect we're gonna need dupes. Oh, I do see a pity system though. So from a pulling point of view, depending on the generosity, it could actually be quite good. I also do see the nun. Oh my lord. It's actually 1200 gemmies for a 10 summon, 11 summon actually. All right, let's have a look at everything else. Let's start with the settings. I'm wondering if I can, yeah boy, let's go for the high graphics. I do think that the model is going to be better. Uh, okay, I will restart and we'll see. All right, and so we are back in and I do wanna say, that 557 megabyte download was probably because it was downloading the high resolution models. However, I'm looking at this, it's kind of feeling the same. Regardless, let's move on to have a look at some of the other systems. We've got the we've got the attendance system, very, very standard, special login. Is that another SSR ticket? No, it is just a, a normal ticket. I'm getting a little bit greedy. We've got some missions over here. The more I look at the interface, the more I feel like it's uh, quite overwhelming. There is a was that Japanese? There is quite a lot going on. It reminds me of the um, figure fantasy. Coming over to the shop, let's have a quick look. Free supply daily. Is that a freaking SSR ticket? Oh no, it's N2 SSR. All right. Uh, you can see my uh, my greed surfacing. Aside from that, like looking pretty standard. Oh my God, we have costumes. Oh, mommy. Okay. All right. So my guys, I did stumble upon a shard system. I hope it's not what I think it is. And it looks like on the end we have a season pass, but it's not been implemented. And so I just clicked into the unit inspector. This is like, honestly, I really like this. It reminds me a lot of PGR, but not only that, it's like, it just feels a little bit more personable, right? And so like, generally speaking, it's pretty straightforward. I would definitely prefer an interface like this over counterside. However, I see awakening, I see imprinting, like what the frick? I suspect the imprinting is probably going to be for your dupes, potentially shards. And then awakening is kind of like your, uh, elite specialization. And so just running through these characters, to be honest, they're all really well done. Like the production value of this game, it's it's not disputable. It's quite good. Oh my god. Uh but wow, that's uh that's that's a wow. And so my guys, I stumbled upon a base system. Not sure how I feel about that because I am not exactly a fan of base systems. Ah, it looks like I've found a dispatch system. All right, let's stick somebody in there and... But yeah, I'm seeing a base management system. I'm seeing a little bit of a time sink and potential inconvenience. So I'm coming back over to the story mode. I'm hoping to see a skip fun- Oh, thank God. There is a skip function as well as an autoplay. I'm not sure why you would pick autoplay over skip, but I... Okay, skip tickets, acceptable. You know, it's fair enough, unless we have to pay for them. Then it's not quite acceptable. Otherwise, I do see this ranking button down here. Uh, what are we getting ranked on? Looking at this interface over here, just something about it feels very cheap. I think it's the, the font that they've used. Honestly, I was afraid to find like some kind of PVP ranking over here, but it looks like it's just like total stats. So total hero level, total hero awakenings doesn't seem too bad. And so my guys, I found this imprint button over here. I went through the tutorial, but it turns out that the imprinting is not actually using the character shards. It's using something like this. And I can't imprint and I'm not sure why, but that's okay. Uh, at least we know that imprinting is not to do with dupes, but just do be aware that there is a shard system. All right, to be honest, aside from that, I think I'm, I've seen all I really needed to see. So in terms of the interface, in terms of the music, the voice acting, the production value, it is incredibly high. 
Can I kind of interact with him? Yeah, I can. I kind of can. There's not very much that I could fault this one for because like these models are quite good, except like the fact that they're a little bit hazy. Maybe it's just my screen. I don't know. There are certainly some parts of the UI which kind of makes it feel cheap. Like this is not one of them. This looks really clean. But if I go back to the ranking, like there is just something about this text that just makes it feel like it's a like just a list in Notepad, right? So in terms of the actual combat itself, I'm gonna have to say it's it's actually kind of okay. They actually even have an auto form button, which I am a major fan of. And the fact that there was skip is also a tick in my books. However, seeing this loading screen again, I do, I do want to say like, it is very unpleasant. It's unpleasant that it's taking so damn long to actually load into any stage. But I kind of get why considering it's like, it's pretty much like a completely 3D game. Yeah, to be honest, like the gameplay itself, it's, it's actually quite good. Though again, I'm still not really over like the changing perspectives. It just feels really really inconsistent I can't say I'm a fan of that otherwise it certainly is like a carbon copy of Arknights there is a two times button as well like all in all there's not really anything to fault this for because once we've loaded in the performance is actually it's it's quite decent so if you guys did want to try like a 3d Arknights or a 3d plants vs zombies this is probably it in terms of the other systems I've seen, so for example, if I popped into a Hero Info, there are these equipment slots and like pretty straightforward. Unfortunately, I'm not going to progress far enough to see what the equipment grind looks like, but like always kind of got to be wary with these. But yeah, all in all, doesn't seem too bad. At this moment, it's certainly not what I'm looking for. And so if you guys did want to give this a shot, go ahead and click on the link down in the description. But otherwise, my guys, that's going to actually bring us to the end of the video. And so at this point, I do want to pass on the question to you guys. Will you guys be giving this one a shot? And did you feel that my comments were kind of fair? Like the performance issues about the production value, about the interface, like the music, all of that, the voice acting? Let me know how you're feeling about this game down in the comments below. And if you do end up leaving something, I would really appreciate it. But otherwise, you already know the drill. If you did enjoy this video, please consider a like, a sub, a notification bell on. But my guys, as your boy Jin once said, all good things must come to an end. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.